What is up, fam? So we are back here. What's up, loud and proud crowd? A little proud, big crowd. It's kind of funny. If you've seen the live stream on Reagan's channel a long time ago, you'll get what I'm saying. It's kind of an inside thing. We're out here working on Rosine right now. Just helping her get this back wheel off so we can swap it out with some not so fun wheels because we have some really fun stuff on the way. Today though, I think the main goal that I want to work on is the white 7.3. So we're pretty much gonna just wrap this shop up here and then head on over to the house, the other house. We're at our house right now. And then I go to my dad's place and grab the 7.3 pull it into his shop. We're just gonna take the heater over there because he has the air guns over there. We gotta buy a set of air guns and, uh, and an air compressor here, but for now we don't have one. So we just gotta go over there and hook up real quick to unbolt the bed. Or do I even wanna do the bed? I think I just wanna do the front bumper. It's a little bit cold out. So we're gonna try to get the front bumper off the 7.3. And that is what we're gonna be doing in today's video. plugged in at all it's negative five and she is coughing but she fired up boys <laughs> there's smoke coming from all kinds of places look at that really it's just there's a I've said it before there's the where the exhaust mounts up to the turbo it's like halfway cracked off just well not halfway but there's a small crack around it where the v-band was cracked loose a little bit so it smokes a little tiny bit under the hood but we'll fix that and then the exhaust is broken off under the cab of course so it just smokes freaking everywhere but we're gonna get rosine reagan's truck pulled into the barn and then we're also gonna pull this in and get to doing some work on it that's why i grabbed this Okay, so we are working away here on the old 7.3 and there's dirt everywhere from the accident. Let me get this unplugged so you don't hear that hissing. Anyway, so there's dirt everywhere from the accident, but the frame dude, dudes and gals, <laughs> my fiance hates when I call her dude. Let's call everybody dude. Anyway, so it's actually really good on this. And you know what's crazy? The thing that saved this frame in the damage, not only was it the bumper, but you know what even saved the bumper from smashing up in here and making anything up in here worse? The freaking plow mount. So the plow mount here, if you look at it, frame, straight. But if you look at where the hit took place, plow mount right here, and plow mount right there, and those are the things that got bent, which pretty much saved the front end components when it comes to um, the frame, the front leaves, all that stuff. So actually, believe it or not, I give a lot of crap to uh, trucks with plows on them. I'm thinking like, dude, they're probably rotted, rusted. That truck's never gonna last. Like, but just the plow mount is what pretty much saved the front end of this truck, believe it or not. And um, 
everything else looks really good. And the bumper came off nice. And other than I think this fender, you can see it's a little bit bent up, which really isn't that bad. I mean, it's bent up, but the gap down here is still perfectly even all the way up. It's just affected the gap on the hood a little bit, but it's really not bad. It's really not that bad. And the wheel, I just took the truck and I turned the wheel, I didn't tell you this, but I turned the wheel all the way left and all the way right to full lock. And um, surprisingly, it uh, fully turns both ways. No issues, no rubbing, no weird whining sounds in the um, steering column, nothing. And what we're doing now is trying to bend this part of the plow mount back up just so it's not an eyesore and all bent. It's going. It's, it's bending back. Just taking a little bit of assistance. And pretty much right there, I think is where it's going to stop. I can go a little bit more. Yeah, it's good. Right there is pretty much level. It can go a little bit more from the back here. Just to give it a little bit more assistance. You can see it kind of is bending itself back out flush with the one on the other side. To where it's naturally supposed to set. Compared to the other side, it's pretty much right where it's supposed to sit. Now, we're never going to put a plow on this truck again. Because Nasty Red's got a plow mount on it now. Not that we hardly ever plow around here. It's just freaking Antarctica cold with no snow most of the time. Isn't that right, Reagan? Mm -hmm. It's mostly just cold. Sometimes we get a snow and we're like, oh, cool, three inches. But really, it's like plow trucks around here, unless you're like a city truck that just throws salt, which is mostly all they do. We hardly ever get snow, so we're definitely not going to use this truck again. A nasty red, even though it has a plow mount, probably hardly ever get used. Bumpers off. We straighten out that bracket. The only thing left on this front end that's bent, the frame looks really good, but the only thing that's kind of bent is this bracket right here, which again is a plow mount. So, and it's just a portion of the plow mount that, um, you know, doesn't really matter in terms of the frame of the truck. This is pretty much pretty much it and when you when you, in terms of impact I don't think it was actually that bad I know it looked really bad the bed was already to the defense of the truck the bed was already shot and when I say that when you drive down the road you look at the bed in the mirror and you could see the like the body lines where the uh, pinstripes are do this all the time in other words some of the bolts in the bed are already rusted in half the frame is actually not that bad on this thing if you pressure wash it you'd be surprised how actually nice it'd probably be with just the, the flaky stuff off, but um, it's actually, the bed was already like falling off. So the side that popped up off the truck anyway, it was gonna happen sooner or later, whether somebody rear-ended and just bumped into it or, you know, like what happened is just spun around or just the force of the truck moving threw the bed off. But I mean, honestly, it was already, it was already in pretty rough shape. But, um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. So we're gonna actually mess with the hood a little bit, see if we can somehow fix it enough to where it opens and closes a lot smoother. I know the hood's out of alignment just a little bit, but it's not its not that bad. Again, it's really not that bad. I think it's about an eighth of an inch off in terms of gap side to side. In other words, a little bit tighter on this side and a little bit, little bit more open on that side. But I think me and Reagan can probably fix that a decent amount. I can kind of see how it's unaligned right there. I'm actually just looking at the bracket. So we might actually be able to do this ourselves and get it straightened out here pretty easy. So anyways, stay tuned. We're gonna try to get this thing looking a little bit better today. So we got Jeshua What's F up? here. Go subscribe to his channel, Jeshua F. TSN Outdoors. Oh, you changed it, TSN Outdoors. Ben changed the TSN. Oh, I, I just haven't forgot. uploaded since I changed it. Oh, I just was reading your banner, it says Jeshua F. Hey, you F know what, still. maybe I should just go back to Jeshua F. Uh, I mean, you never know what Jeshua's gonna be. It could be outdoors, trucks, you don't know. So. Or boats are fishing, so we got the hood not perfectly aligned. I mean, it looks perfect on this side, but on this side, obviously, there's a little bit of a gap issue. However, if you look right here, you can see how it used to rub right here. It'll focus. 
but it doesn't anymore. And that's the, that's the thing that counts. So you used to not be able to just pull the latch, come out, pop the hood and throw it open. Um, but now you can, you used to have, to, I used to have Reagan hold this latch up like this. So I, while she held that up, it released it long enough to where I could come up here and you know, muscle it up. But now I just pulled that latch. I didn't do anything. You didn't, you didn't come over here and do anything. And then look, you just give her barely a touch. And then same with this handle. You don't have to like put a pry bar in there and open it up. You just hardly touch the handle. Actually, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Yeah. Just touch the handle and watch she'll lift it up. <laughs> I was expecting it to just go up, but it's heavy. But yeah, so yeah. But yeah, so now you can almost single-handedly accept the holding camera. Maybe we should reach Just come that. over and uh, <laughs> do that. And the grill's actually not that bad. It's got a little chip here. Had that little crack there from me ripping it off like a doorknob. But I mean, hey, it's good. It's good. It's not bad. Now, of course, guys, keep in mind, the truck was wrecked. Mm -hmm. So, you, I mean, you can't complain about everything, but the hood is functional. And where the bumper came up, the frame's actually not bent. The tow hooks have always been a little bit bent because we've used it to pull a lot of crap and logs and trees and everything, all kinds of random junk. But anyways, the hood is usable now. You can open it and close it yourself with one person. You don't need two people, um, which is really, really all that counts. Once we get a new bumper on there, it'll look a lot better. So I'm going to step back here so you can kind of get a better look at the truck. Look how much better it already looks. Obviously, new tires where the flats were. Um, the hood, obviously, it's going to have that little gap. The truck was wrecked, so it's hard to get perfect. Somebody out there that's an expert with adjusting hoods could probably get it. But, you know, just with what we could do, Jeshua helped me align it, and he's like, yeah, you just want to do this, this, and this. And then so we kind of did that, and it, and it worked to at least be manageable to do with one person and not having to have a buddy system to open the thing up. But other than that, if you just envision the bed being gone, and a flat deck put on, stance up 20 by 12s, off-road front bumper, just envision it. Just picture it. Big front bumper, 20 by 12 stanced, no rusty bed, gone. Yeah, you're still gonna have a little rust right there in the cab corner, but not bad. Um, it'll be nice, guys, trust me, it will look nice. It's not gonna be a perfect truck, but it's gonna be a nice, good, usable. And I did start this up and take it down the drive. Full lock both ways, no winding sounds, no rubbing, no weird squeaks and squeals. I mean, it, it, it fully, it's fully drivable. So we're actually gonna try to make a video here probably, I don't know if it's gonna be the very next video or not, but if this truck actually driving down the road, and we're gonna make sure the cruise still works, we're gonna make sure that it cruises nice and smooth and silky smooth and it's not got a bunch of rattles or shakes or anything weird other than the bed, obviously it's falling apart. Um, but anything up front, I'm saying, but if it's all good, I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape. And my goal, honestly right now, the giveaway thing would be kinda of cool to do like a short giveaway. But I just don't think it's what we should do with this truck, honestly. I'd rather not do it that way. I'd rather just find somebody who genuinely wants the vehicle and give them a deal on it in terms of like at least getting my money back out of it so that it's not costing me money. But it'll be a, once it's done, just trust me. You gotta have a little faith, trust the process. It'll be a good truck. It'll be a good looking truck. Pretty, I mean, for what it is. It'll be a pretty good looking truck. Four wheel drive, fully functional, engine running well. Cruise works, heat works, AC works. Um, it'll have new wheels and tires, flatbed, all that stuff. It'll be a nice four wheel drive diesel with like 278,000 miles on it. So just keep that in mind. It'll probably be up for sale once it's done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the daily uploads. I know that recently they've been more like every other day, but that's just because We've been extra busy with the in-between days, uh, but I am gonna try to keep up with the daily content as much as I possibly can. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support, showing your feedback, highly appreciate it. Duramax giveaway is winding down. Check the dates, it ends March 26th. If you haven't entered yet, get your entries in. Information in the description below. You can buy hats, hoodies, t-shirts, decals, keychains, all that type of stuff. And every $15 more you spend gets you another entry, another entry, another entry. So just keep that in mind. Enter while you can before stuff sells out and before you run out of time and you could be taking home a beautiful 2008 LMM Duramax. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.